My name is David Buchanan. I'm the football coach at Mason County High School in Maysville, Kentucky. And today we're going to talk about our zone slant play. And I know that's a different sounding type of play, and it's been a play that we struggle giving it a name. It looks like an inside zone, but it turns into sort of an old-fashioned slant play from a split-back veer. And, uh, but this play has been something that really has answered a couple problems or needs that we had in our program. The first problem that we had is that we're an I formation team and we love to run where we have numbers, where we can outnumber our opponent. But if you get in the eye, that's going to make it tough sometimes to have quality misdirection. When I say quality misdirection is yes, you can pull people and run counter trays and traps and those are all good plays. But immediately when those guards and tackles start to pull, your linebackers can recognize that it's misdirection. This is going to give us misdirection without giving that guard tackle pull key. Then it also solved another problem for us. We love to get in the shotgun, put a running back to the field, and sprint out to the field and throw the ball. That, that's been a big part of our offense. Well, what's happened is now we've taken this zone slant concept. It's given us an inside zone type of play out of the eye, and it's also given us a shotgun run between the tackle that is built on our sprint passing game. So we've got a lot of neat things that are happening here that are helping us in our eye and in our shotgun. We got these ideas, uh, Coach Chris Pardue and Coach uh, Dell Anderson, uh, a couple coaches in Kentucky, helped us with the inside zone when we were looking at that. When we wanted to look at the eye formation and misdirection, you know, actually the guys that really sort of made our eye play what it is are two defensive guys. Chuck Smith and Larry French, because I knew from coaching with those guys a long time ago, they were big on the angles of the backs and picking up those guards and tackles pulling. And so we knew that we needed to have a play that was going to work well against the very best defenses that would pick up a guards pulled, a tackles pulled, or would pick up on the angle of the back. So those guys really had a lot to do with how this play got put together. And then finally, Coach uh, Caruso and his... Uh, pass action run and I know that he's done videos with American Football Monthly regarding that topic but what happened is out of the shotgun that run play became a pass action run off of our sprint out so these two this concept has been a big plus for our offense in both the eye and in the shotgun in addressing those two problems when we run our zone slant play the blocking rules are the same regardless of whether we are in an I formation or if we're in the shotgun. And one of the ways that we think of it is this. We're using the same blocking that we use on our I formation isolation play. And what we say is instead of blocking that linebacker, we're going to make him flow out of the hole. So let me go through our blocking assignments here. This play is going to be run into either A gap or either B gap. And our blocking rules are very simple. If you are adjacent to the hole, adjacent, if you are next to the hole, your rule is man, what we say then, zone away. And what that means is that I'm going to create width at the hole. Now for everyone else, 